Six days. Has it been just six days? To think, only a week ago, the day before my birthday, Tansy was leaving. My hotel design was being rejected and rejected. I found out I was being audited for the IRS. And in my folly, I imagined myself unhappy. He... He follows me everywhere. He seems to have unlimited time, unlimited funds, Brother Bob's life savings. I guess he, he takes an interest in my work. He goes with me into town. Just the other day... I'm not even sure I can talk about this yet. Just the other day, I had to take the commute to St. Louis. That's where the outside elevator to the Regency is being built. And Rick wanted to come along. So I said, okay, but it's not going to be much fun. But, so, Rick came along. Everything was fine. Rick was sitting next to me on the plane. Uh, DC-8, I think. He's wearing this little pilot's hat that he bought at the airport. And leafing through his bound copy of Red Book. When suddenly, suddenly, the plane starts shaking. And the safety belt lights come on and in fact people are starting to get a little alarmed and what does Rick do in the middle of all this he jumps up and shouts and and shouts urinate urinate or your kidneys will explode and oh my goodness and I think well I'm actually pretty sure that some people actually did and he was wearing this little pilot hat and wearing the shirt and tie he always wears. And in, in a panic situation like that, well, naturally, the next thing we hear is the pilot saying, we experienced a little turbulence back there, but we're out of it now, and we'll be arriving in St. Louis in one minute. And so Rick just sits down with no idea of how many people want to murder him. I think the only reason he escaped it's because those who really had the grounds didn't want to stand up.